Extreme Camping, a phenomenon where campers push their survival skills to the edge. Here are the 8 most terrifying camping styles you should definitely stay away from. Number 8. Hammocking 150 feet above the Italian Alps Monte Piana is a 2,324-meter-tall mountain located in northern Italy that is characterized as having two summits. Over 100 years ago, the area was strongly fought over between Austrian and Italian armies during World War I with each side occupying one summit each. Many remnants of the brutal battle can still be seen on both summits. Today, a group of thrill-seekers choose to experience Monte Piana in friendship and peace with the most unusual and terrifying camping style. The International Highline Meeting is an annual event where fearless campers set their hammocks hundreds of feet in the air at Monte Piana. The gatherings, which first started in 2012, is one of the world's most unique highline events. A strong setup capable of carrying the weight of many people on a single line would first be rigged. The daredevil highliners would then attach their hammocks and camping materials to a wire and then move out into their designated spots, 2,000 meters in the air. They get to hone their skills while having having fun at the same time, and some are seen playing a guitar, smoking, reading a book, or even taking a nap, totally unfazed by their location. Although the campers seem totally relaxed up there in the Italian Alps, the activity is only for extreme athletes, with great balance and considerable experience in tightrope walking. A slight mistake would not only put oneself in danger, but the entire crew on the same line would likely share the same fate. Number 7 camping under the sea. Underwater camping is surely the most impractical camping style anyone could think of, but it deserves a mention here for its uniqueness. Credits for this crazy twist goes to Chris Feitzer and Brian Worster, who went to the middle of the sea off the shores of Guam and dived down, bringing with them their entire camping gear. With the help of rocks used as weights, they set up lawn chairs, hammocks, a tent, and even a fire pit, which of course was just there for aesthetic purposes. According to the duo, in order to not let the tent float up to the surface, they cut multiple slits into it so that air from the inside would escape. They had their hammock attached to buoys, while forest beasts and creepy crawlies aren't present, an underwater camper would have to face the dangers of sea predators and the possibility of their oxygen running out. What Feitzer and Worcester did could hardly be called real camping, as they did not stay there long, had to bring scuba tanks and diving gear with them, and couldn't even start a fire. But still, the pair claimed the record as the first people known to create an underwater campsite. Number 6. Camping in Antarctica the hazards associated with Antarctica are endless. The enormous icy landmass is not only the world's coldest continent, but also the driest, windiest, and has the highest average elevation of all the continents. The notorious land of extremes definitely makes it in the list as one of the ultimate and most terrifying camping destinations. The freezing temperature and total isolation would put off most people from going there, let alone to actually camp there. For starters, visitors are forbidden to bring in outside food. The Antarctic Treaty has made it one of their goals to maintain the continent in its pristine condition, meaning they want visitors to have as little impact as possible towards the ecosystem. On top of having to starve for a while, campers are also not allowed to go to the toilet. Emergencies would require them to use portable potties, with the waste being brought back to the ship later on. Staying warm in the freezing temperatures is a legitimate concern, with frostbite as a potential injury. Trudging through the thick snow Snow to find a suitable camping spot is a tiresome task that takes many hours. The spotless white landscape also puts campers at risk of snow blindness, as the sun's ultraviolet rays would bounce off the snowy surface and burn their retinas. Without proper equipment, as well as both physical and mental preparation, camping in Antarctica could kill you. Number 5. Desert Camping in the Sahara when speaking of camping, people normally think of mountains and forests filled with plants and wildlife. 
But desert camping is an alternative style, where the only view for campers is an endless landscape of brown sand with very few life forms. The Sahara is the world's largest hot desert, covering an incredible area of 9,200,000 square kilometers, which is almost the size of the entire United States of America. Many tour companies in northern Africa offer incredible getaway camping experiences in the Sahara Desert, and joining them would be much more advisable than trying to explore and camp out there unguided. The Sahara Desert could be extremely unforgiving for travelers, even for locals who regularly traverse its sands. During the day, the temperatures are extremely high, and campers are easily susceptible to dehydration and heat strokes. The nights, on the other hand, are extremely chilly. Many Saharan animals have evolved to survive in the harsh place, making them fierce and dangerous. This includes the venomous sand vipers and death stalker scorpions, as well as wild dogs and foxes. Campers should also be aware of the violent and unpredictable sandstorms that could go on for hours. Number 4. Rainforest Camping in the Amazon you can't call yourself a true camper until you've explored a real jungle, or in other words, a tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforests have an amazing variety of animals and plants, including some of the rarest ones on the planet. This also means that a set of terrifying challenges await rainforest campers, especially for those who go to the Amazon. The Amazon is the world's largest tropical rainforest, spanning over 2 million square miles. It is so large, it constitutes more than half of the entire world's rainforests. Its vast ecosystem also means that it is home to countless deadly creatures, including the poison dart frog, green anaconda, red-bellied piranha, and bullet ant. And we haven't even mentioned the deadly plants, like the curare, which kills by inducing respiratory paralysis, and the Venus flytrap. The temperature is unpleasantly hot and humid, and diseases like malaria are spread easily. Campers are always advised to check in with a tour operator or to have a local guide. A complete camping gear that includes food, water, and first aid kit is essential, and bringing a mosquito net and anti-malarial pills are also recommended. Number 3. High Altitude Camping at Mount Everest Base if you are really looking to challenge yourself and take camping to the next level, then try high-altitude camping. This type of camping requires the utmost physical fitness, as campers would not only have to endure the exhausting hike upwards, they would also have to survive the frigid temperatures, thin air, and strong winds. The world's most renowned high-altitude campsites would be the ones at the base of Mount Everest, the South Base Camp in Nepal, and the North Base Camp in Tibet. The camps lie at an incredible 17,000 and feet above sea level. It is preferable to come at summer, when the temperatures are more bearable, but even so, you will still have to deal with the problem of altitude sickness. Symptoms of the acute sickness include headaches, dizziness, nausea, and vomiting, as well as trouble sleeping. Some people regard themselves as being highly fit, only to experience severe symptoms when they go high altitude camping, and are forced to descend to lower levels. The atmosphere becomes thinner and thinner with increasing heights, meaning there is less available oxygen to breathe, and inexperienced climbers would find themselves gasping for air. The best ways to overcome these problems would be good hydration and taking the time to adapt with high altitudes before coming over. If you can cope with all this, it would definitely be worth it, as nothing beats the experience of unzipping your tent in the morning to be welcomed by the full view of Mount Everest. Number 2. Hanging Off Treetops this style of camping takes tree housing to whole new levels. Walzell Garden is an adventure resort located in Fronten in Bavaria, Germany, which provides visitors with a unique camping experience in the wilderness. Brave campers could choose to climb to the mountain summit and nestle themselves in tents that hang off of treetops. The branches are the only thing supporting the suspended hammock-like tents, and falling could result in serious injuries. The higher the tent, the better the view you'll get across the stunning German Alps. The style is definitely not suitable for those afraid of heights, and the only way to reach the tents is by climbing a rope. Campers would also have to make sure that their gear is strong and sturdy enough to support their weight before happily spending the night. If tree camping is still not extreme enough for you, Walto Garden Resort also offers other camping styles, including igloo camping in the winter and cliff camping, which we are about to mention. Number 1. Cliff Camping 
It takes a certain type of crazy to climb up a mountainside, descend down to a small hanging cot, and spend the night dangling on the cliff face. Cliff camping is truly a daring experience for thrill seekers and has been popular among hardcore climbers for quite some time. Usually, climbers would camp on the side of a cliff when met with walls too difficult to climb in one go, but oftentimes they do it just for the thrill of it. The portal edge is a hanging tent designed specifically to be deployed on big walls. Setting them up is no easy task, requiring a lot of preparation by seasoned climbers. Heavy winds can rush up the mountainside and toss the campsite around if it is not held properly. Today, some companies allow less experienced climbers to have a go with cliff camping with the portal edges already set up for them. Still, grappling down a rope to land squarely on the nylon platform is not as easy as it looks, and a loss of footing might mean the end for you. Not to mention the unpredictable weather that could send your campsite spiraling down the mountain. This is one camping style that is not for restless sleepers who toss and turn in their sleep, or for those who can't hold their bladder in the middle of the night. Along with the skulls and bones, other items that are displayed within the Akudesawa fetish market are ragged pieces of fur, rotting birds, Birds, herbs and medicinal plants, good luck charms which the practitioners claim have been blessed with incantations, tortoise shells, statues and talismans. 